Road trips are a quintessential part of American culture. We have a huge country and an interstate system that makes it easy to get from place to place. That's if you're happy with sitting on your butt for hours on end. Now, one of the issues is that while you're driving in unfamiliar places, you're probably gonna miss an exit, which of course leads to arguments between yourself and the passenger over who is supposed to be paying attention. Mapping and turn-by-turn -turn navigation have reduced that issue, but Tesla decided to go a bit further with its new Navigate on Autopilot, and I decided to give it a try on a long road trip, specifically from San Francisco all the way to Las Vegas so I could attend CES. Tesla introduced Navigate on Autopilot in October 2018. Now, it's available for all vehicles built on or after October 19th, 2016. Tesla says all those vehicles have the hardware capable for full self-driving. Now, once that's available software-wise, Tesla says you'll be able to put it on your car if you, you know, want to give them some more money. But for now, we have Navigate on Autopilot, which enhances regular autopilot. For one thing, it helps position you in a lane so you get to your destination the quickest and it helps figure out which lane you need to be in to help you with off-ramps. When enabled, the two blue lines that you see when you use autopilot that border the lane, they actually come together and create one single blue line that the car follows. When it finds a better lane, it prompts the driver to hit the turn signal stock to initiate a lane change, and then it just moves over to the next lane when it's safe. In the future though, Tesla says that people will be able to opt in to have that happen automatically. You won't have to use the turn signal stock. The new lane change feature is actually an update to what's already found in Autopilot, but it's more robust and compared to the previous version, is actually smoother while switching lanes. Navigate on Autopilot will actually go a little bit further when you encounter off-ramps and interchanges along your route. It'll actually automatically take you off the freeway Better yet, it'll flip on the turn signal before you hit that off-ramp, which is impressive. You can adjust the system's aggressiveness while changing lanes. Now, while it seems like it would be insane, Mad Max mode is actually closest to how a human changes lanes. And it does all this without having to fight desert marauders that are trying to steal your car and your water. How it does this is that an update to the autopilot system turns on all eight of these cameras. Overall, I found Navigate on Autopilot to be a delightful semi-autonomous companion. Like a lot of these systems, it reduced my stress level whenever I encountered heavy traffic. And when I got to Vegas, 13 hours after leaving San Francisco, I wasn't nearly as tired as I would have been if I had just driving a regular car. But with all these systems, it's important to realize that you have to pay attention to the road and you should keep at least one hand on the wheel. Now, Tesla tells you this. Every automaker is going to tell you this. For the love of all that is holy, do not believe that this or anything else that's currently on the road is self-driving. Navigate on autopilot isn't perfect. For instance, there was this weird five mile stretch of road in the middle of the desert where the car just couldn't switch lanes. It would start to move over and then suddenly switch back into its original lane. Usually you can kind of figure out what's going on. Maybe the sun is messing with the sensor, maybe it's raining, but in this instance, I couldn't figure it out. And then after about seven miles, it went back to working fine. But during a rainstorm as I entered Nevada, Navigate on Autopilot actually works way better than I expected it to. And it wasn't until Poseidon unleashed the full power of a torrential downpour that it turned off and just went to autopilot. The system is geofenced to highways and freeways without cross traffic. So as you exit the freeway, it'll actually give you a countdown as Navigate on Autopilot is about to turn off. So you're not gonna be using this on city streets or on back roads. But if you have an insane road trip or you just have a really bad daily commute, Navigate on Autopilot is a great update to Tesla's already robust driver's assistance system. I love road trips. Navigate on Autopilot actually makes them better.